That's the bunker shot I hold right there. And reenact it? <laughs> See, that wasn't my fault. Oh yeah, we were like this. He kept going up. Yeah. Like, I'm going the crowd. One more? Do we know that? Do we know that? Don't look over. We're going to Bradenton, Florida. We're going to spend the day with Paul Azinger. There is no blueprint at all for however this show is going to look out. Hopefully Paul's in a good mood today and uh, brings us the gold. Here a little early, going to do a little setup. Both my parents played golf. Um, we lived on an Air Force base with golf courses, so we were playing when we were little kids. My dad pushed me around on a cart. I was pretty good by the time eighth or ninth grade, and then it, I just kind of sort of quit practicing and playing, and by the time I left high school, I was having a hard time breaking 82 days in a row. Uh, but I went to Brevard Junior College. I'd never broken 70 till my second year of college. Five years after that, I was a player of the year on tour. I remember um, leading Hilton Head in 1985, and I was—I didn't want to even pull out. So nervous, I was like, I said to her, "We were sitting in the motorhome in a trailer park over there. If I have to be this nervous to make a living, I might want to do something else." I called Bert Yancey. He said, "Son, you want to be so nervous you can't spit." I just decided I'm going to embrace this pressure. I remember getting in that bunker, and I looked at Patrick, and I said, "I got to hold this, don't I?" Of course I do. And I hit it and it went in. And so we went crazy. <laughs> he doesn't deserve it, Patrick. He doesn't deserve it. <laughs> That's what we were screaming. We just went eight. My neck was bulging. I regret it. I really did. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great. No, it is actually great. <laughs> All right, we're on our way to Zinger's house now. We're going to go to his back dock and do some fishing. I'm not much of a fisher, but... Uh, I'm hoping to pick up some pointers. He's been great with his time with us so far. I uh, hope we don't overstay our welcome, but we're gonna swing by his house and see what kind of trouble we can get into. Whoa. The old, the old college bag. Look at the clubs These are there. clubs from college too? Let's say they are. <laughs> Every club in there is like obsolete. These are truly this rusted? I'm yeah. chrome. I got them on chrome if I could. This was my mom's stuff. My mom was good. She won 16 or 17 club championships. Really? Oh, wow. Wow. Look at this putter. I think he's That's the one Nick was won the Masters with in 86, <laughs> that bro. Is. That's it. This is it? That's it. You could lay the foundation of this house with that. Oh my god. You ever play like a one or two iron? Poker. One iron won me the memorial in 93. Yeah. There's back my Jeep. <laughs> but you gotta see my putter, dude. This is a this is a, one of the Scottsdales that Carson Solheim made in his garage with paint. And that's the one I won the PGA with right there. Wow. Try to take a stab with that thing. That's that first paint he made out of his garage and he came out on tour with it in the sixties or early seven, I think sixties, was charging ten bucks a piece to the price. <laughs> I always wanted some sort of a secret door, secret room. So this is like my show off to me, sort of. But you know, you gotta have some place to put this stuff. So I just put it all in here. It's, oh! It's, did you hit it solid? No. <laughs> Dude, I've been. never not hit it solid. Well, I, that. I just I tra I hit a trap draw with a putter. You know who started the belly putter? You? Yeah. He stuck it right in, it was like 99. This is the one I used in the pro shop to get it started. Whoa! <laughs> I almost dropped it. That's leaded glass. Oh my God. That's what I won the tour championship with Pinehurst. <laughs> that, I probably led the field in driving distance that week with that thing. Top, <laughs> top light. And there's no Ryder Cup stuff in his here because there's a room up there. You might see that one too. Yeah, I'll show it to you. <laughs> you couldn't tell from the interview I'm like the biggest Ryder Cup fan in the world. Well, My 90, right there, Chipper's 100 for the Ryder Cup. So oh. now you want, that's the glove I had. Look at the length of tees back now. That's a full length tee? Yeah, look at the dimples on it. This is a hair smaller than the original. 
Or the actual, and that's a hair bigger than the actual. Wouldn't you say, Tom? I'm not going to kiss it until I actually win one. So. <laughs> How would you spend your Sunday afternoon if you weren't stuck in here with us? <laughs> well, I'd love to fish, but I, I'm almost fished out. I'm ready to start playing golf again just for fun. I've got a great dock in my backyard. It's 386 feet long. It's the biggest dock in that area. And the fish just cluster under it. <laughs> and so I can go out and catch fish. It's hard to put a boat on top of 200 redfish, I can tell you that. <laughs> you just sit there and fish off your dock. <laughs> so I, I fish almost every day off my dock, but that's about it. And so you are back playing more golf these days than, than usual? Well, the desire to play yeah. is what's changed as much as anything. Plus, I was beating that sweet spot to the death. <laughs> when I, but I haven't played much since March. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a wrap on our day with Paul Azinger. The guy had stories for days. I knew that going in, but to actually get him at his house, that was, uh, that was quite the experience. That was exactly what we were looking for to get out of this day. Hope this is the first of many. Till now, signing off on episode one of Home Game. Crack on. See that going the other side? In! <laughs> That's it. We're a wrap. That's it. It's a wrap.